The majority of conversions preserve ratio. For example, 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, 2 inches is equal to 2 times 2.54 or 5.08 centimeters. And the ratio is the same. Expressed using fractions notation, 1 over 2.54 is equal to 2 over 5.08. If we want to know how many inches or how many centimetres a particular length is, we can write an equation with an unknown. For example, if we want to know how many centimetres there are in 12 inches, we have 1 over 2.54, this is the ratio of inches to centimetres, is equal to inches on top, 12, over the unknown value x. And now we can solve for x. Multiplying by x on both sides, gives us 1 over 2.54 multiplied by x equals 12 on, the x's cancel out, and then we have x on 2.54 equals 12. If we multiply by 2.54 to cancel out on the left hand side, we'll have x equal to 12 times 2.54 or 30.48. On the other hand, if we want to know how many inches there are in 30 centimetres, we would have the ratio on the left hand side, 1 inch to 2.54 centimetres, is the same as an unknown value to the 30 centimetres. So multiplying by 30, we have 1 on 2.54 times 30 is equal to x on 30 times 30 and the 30s cancel out. We then have 30 on 2.54 equals x, which is approximately 11.81 inches. So the key is just keeping track of the ratio we're preserving. Of course, we can express the ratio in a different form too. In the example where we want to know how many centimetres there are in 12 inches, we can say that the ratio of inches, 1 to 12, will be the same as the ratio of centimetres, 2.54 to the unknown amount of centimetres, x. And you'll note that the equation will rearrange equivalently to before. How about some other conversions that preserve ratio? 1 Australian dollar is equal to 0 0.7662 US dollars. How much in AUD is a book from the US that costs $35.99? Well, we have 1 over 0 0.7662, this is the ratio of Australian to American dollars, is equal to the unknown value of Australian dollars to the $35.99 price tag. Or, 1 on x, the ratio of Australian dollars to how much the actual cost is, is equal to the 0.7662 US dollars to the $35.99. In fact, if there's any kind of ratio relationship going on, we can set up this kind of equation and solve.